Good morning. So today, I don't know, for some reason I woke up and in my head was just the word feet, right? And God always brings this up ever so often, but I never, I don't know why, I never looked into it. So this morning I thought, hmm, let me check something out. I Google everything. And it says in the Bible, I think 239 times, the word feet, right? It's something about feet that is so precious to God, you know, about his people. I'm like, yeah, it's true, you know, Jesus washed the feet of the disciples, so I was wondering, you know, God, what is feet? What is going on with feet? And I remember making a video about Joshua and wherever he tread, God promised him, wherever he put his foot, that that territory was going to be his. And this is what we need to do now. I had heard about Pastor John Ramirez and what he used to do. It's so funny because he's Puerto Rican and I'm Puerto Rican. He used to work for Satan himself and put strongholds in neighborhoods. And he himself said that he saw the neighborhood go down, right? Like drugs and addictions and shootings. So that's why I was asking God, that's a stronghold that he was putting there. He himself said it is a stronghold. So we need to take that territory back. So today, I was looking at Deut Deuteronomy 11, chapter 24. And it says, Every place where the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the rivers, the river Euphrates, even unto the uttermost sea, shall your coast be. There shall no man be able to stand before you, for the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of, of you upon the land, all the land, and you shall tread upon as he had said unto you. This is 24-25. So, you know, I don't see, I done it. When I started reading about Joshua, I said, wait a minute, why can I not do it, right? Because we in those times, right, where the enemy has gotten so much ground, and then you hear about shootings, and you hear about drug addictions, and why don't the church, right, whether you fast that day or whatever, just go put your feet there and recite these, um, these um, verses. There's so many verses. It's like so many of them, you know, in the Bible. And I was looking at that, and I'm like, wow. Is something special about God's children's feet right something is up with that I don't know what it is but it's something so I haven't gotten a revelation about it all I know is do this do this do this do that and like I said whatever I do because I'm a simpleton anybody could do right it doesn't hurt to do it go and do it. I take my shoes off just to make it more relevant. Well, for me, it's just, you know, my feet I always had anyway, so I just do that to cool me down. It's the easiest way to cool down is through your feet. And um, so, yeah, I just wanted to tell people to do this in your homes, in your churches, in your businesses, whatever, you know, like the malls. I done it at the mall. I done it in the high school. I done it already so many places, but I'm just stuck here. You know, I can't do more. I feel like I'm in an environment right now that I'm not moving. I don't know why, what's going on. So I feel like I'm stuck right now, especially because of my heart. Like I try to go up that hill and I can't. I'm like, okay, God, spiritually I have to do things. I can't move physically right now. But, um, yeah, so I tell people, do this and see if there's any results. If you see a neighborhood that's going downhill, that's because there's a stronghold there and it needs to be taken out. And, yeah, you're going to go through warfare because I've been through it. And I'm nobody, right? And I've been going through it. I can hit 
so many times by the enemy. It's like, okay, what's next, you know? So, yeah, you could shield yourself with prayers and everything, but still, it's going to hit. I'm already used to it. It's like, well, whatever, you know, kill me already. But, um, I just wish people were more, their eyes would be opened. I thought that was what God did in 2020, but it seems like, you know, it has to get really, really, really horribly bad in order for people to realize what's going on, you know? I'm praying for the people of Maui. I am so upset because they're doing this in a lot of different places. So we have to keep them in prayer, you know? I don't know how many people die, how many children die, how many pets die. And now they have all this, I think it has to do with Davos for some reason. You know, I keep on hearing Davos, Davos. Something to do with Davos. It's like they pre-plan things and they don't care because their heart is like stone, right? And it says in the book of Revelation, you know, heart of, of, of people is going to grow cold. And this is what's going on right now, you know. This is what's going on. So I just say, have your eyes and ears open because the enemy right now is not speaking, it's shouting. And it happened to me. So if it happened to me, it must be happening to a whole bunch of people, but they don't realize it, right? But the thing about the enemy is they come to attack you, but in that attack, they become vulnerable. Somehow they give out their location, right? So, you know, you have to strategically think of what's the next move, you know? Because they give out their location when they come to to do this to you, you know? So, I think a lot of anointed people right now, millions of people, are going through the same thing, but they just don't know it. They don't know it. So I'm asking God, give them revelation. You know? And let them realize we're not in a AV's world anymore. We're in tough times. A lot of crazy stuff is happening. It's not coming out in the news. So I'm just praying for everybody. You know? I just feel stressed out to the max. Like, okay, should I go into the hornet's nest? Should I go to the other one? So I'm thinking what to do, you know. So, yeah, just um, do this, you know. Like I said, also take little prayers, put them in little strips of paper, stick them in your car, in your property. If you could put little prayers, stick them in Walmart. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I wish I had a printer with all these things that I could do, but I just, you know, I just put my feet down. That's basically what I could do right now. So I hope somebody um, listens to, somebody listen to this message, because I don't know. I'm not getting much of an audience, and I'm like, God, you know, help me, because um, I'm getting the revelation, but I don't know where to put it. So I'm saying, okay, let me do YouTube, right, because I did tell my neighbors. But once I start speaking, it's like they look the other way. So I already know, oh no, they're not going to listen to me, right? So yeah, just use these verses, you know? Whichever, there's so many in the Bible about territory. So if you put your feet there and you recite one of these, you're going to get warfare before or after, I don't know, right? Unless you don't want it. But if you put your feet there, that stronghold is going to scream and run away. You know, they can't stay there because your feet been planted there. And it's so funny because I went to the Capitol Museum. I went to the, the looked like a basement floor all the way down. They had the railroad and it was dark. And then I look at the floor and I saw footsteps all over. It looked like it was done in you know cement or something 
And I'm like, wow, this is very interesting. So you go down to the Capitol Museum. Down there, there's footsteps all over, all over. And I'm like, what? You know, and then I correlate one thing with the other. And I'm like, wow, West Virginians are super smart. Super smart. You know? So, yeah, I just hope this gets um, to somebody and they spread the word, you know. God bless you guys.